won't feature in Bridgerton season 2, but watching Anthony Bridgerton grow into the man he's meant to be is sure to be just as watchable. The surprise announcement that Reed Jean Page wouldn't be returning for Bridgerton season 2 blindsided many, but it's okay that Simon won't be in it, and okay. here's why. When one is angry. When one burns for someone who does not feel the same. You burn for me. The first season of the hit Netflix series, based on the book series by Julia Quinn, followed the intertwining stories of the Bridgerton and Featherington clans. However, the main narrative of the series was the evolving romance between and eventual marriage of Phoebe Dynevor's naive but pert Daphne Bridgerton and Paige's mysterious Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings, in Regency-era London. Though most of the cast was well-received and a few fan-favorite characters emerged, none broke out on a greater scale than Paige as the Duke. Thanks to his megawatt smile and charming charisma elevating the ever-popular bad boy with a heart of gold trope, Paige injected the sultry series with boundless sex appeal and became the subject of many a piece of fanfic. Oh, should we go into the bedroom and finish what we started? No. With that breakout role, Page experienced a meteoric rise in Hollywood, tapped to guest host Saturday Night Live, cast in the Russo Brothers' buzzy Netflix thriller The Grey Man with Chris Evans, Ryan Gosling, and Ana de Armas, and landing a lead role in Paramount's big-budget Dungeons & Dragons movie. Humanity of our beauty, of our joy, of our glamour, of our splendour, of our royalty, of our romance, of our love, it is the highest honour to represent that and to represent the people I do represent, and I will do my absolute best to be worthy of that. I think I fit that into the counter, thank you. But with that came the announcement that Paige's character would not be returning for the second season, throwing a number of fans into a state of confusion as it seemed odd that the show would just get rid of one of its two main characters. However, the show will survive without Paige and without Simon Bassett. There is no need to act the jailer. I shall not discover I'm with child within the next hour, shall I? In fact, it's designed to. Quinn's series of novels is less one long narrative with the same central characters than it is an anthology, with each book focusing on a different Bridgerton's quest to find love. Bridgerton season one was based on The Duke and I. Season two, however, will be based on the second book The Viscount Who Loved Me which follows the eldest son Anthony Bridgerton as he navigates, being the head of a noble house and romance, and his story will be more than enough. It'll be as if you never loved her at all. And how have these precepts served you? Aside from being the most dismal, most troubling ones I've heard in quite some time. It's a work in progress to be sure. After having his heart crushed at the end of Bridgerton season one, the emotionally obtuse Anthony declared that the trick to marriage is to remove love from the equation. It leads right into the story set up in the second book in which Anthony is resolved to marry Edwina Sheffield, the toast of that season, and who checks off all the right qualities he needs in a wife. However, his plans are thwarted when her older sister, Kate, starts meddling in the arrangement as she has no intention of allowing the rakish Anthony Bridgerton anywhere near her sister. While it's disappointing that Simon Bassett won't feature in season two, Jonathan Bailey's Anthony Bridgerton was another cast member who had something of a breakout himself, albeit for completely different reasons. Anthony's arc in season one simultaneously delighted and infuriated viewers, with the Bridgerton Viscount showing tantalizing glimpses of the emotionally mature, evolved man he could be if only he could get out of his own way, so close to getting it, and yet so far away. What are your plans, brother? Nothing of note, other than finding and promptly declaring my intentions to my new Viscountess, of course. The Viscount is ready to find and declare his intentions. Did you hear that, Your Grace? And which young Does lady? it matter? Anthony's love story in Bridgerton season 2 is sure to be enormously entertaining, if occasionally maddening, and the payoff of seeing him finally grow into the man he hinted at in season 1 will be extremely rewarding. Speak several languages, I hear. Simon Bassett's complexity will be missed, but there's no reason he couldn't return in a later season, and the evolution of Anthony Bridgerton will be more than enough to make the second season's story just as watchable as the first.